Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading for Born Without Boundaries. Welcome back, guys. This is your oracle card reading. It's an energy reading. It is not a horoscope. I use oracle cards to define the energies that are you're going to be experiencing as a Sagittarius this week. Now, I'm not going to date the the videos anymore because I realize it doesn't make any <laughs> it doesn't make any difference to people. Um, uh, but I do upload a new video every single week. So if you want them hot off the press, please do click that subscribe button, help the channel grow, and get your videos as soon as I upload them by ringing that bell and you'll get notified. Thank you so much. Now, Sagittarius, there's always an extended that adds on to the energy readings that we get here on YouTube. That is a full tarot card spread and it goes into depths and adds more detail and articulates and personalizes the reading a little bit more. And then you also have your romance reading included in that as well. Let's get going. Let's do this. This is Sagittarius reading. Sagittarius sun, moon, rising, Mars, Venus, Mer whatever Sagittarius energy influences your natal chart, this is all coming out real quick for you guys too. And it's a big reading. So wherever Sagittarius energy influences your natal chart, um, uh, you can apply this energy for the next week or so. Remember, like Sagittarius energy, for example, uh, my Neptune is in Sagittarius. So, oh, we got it. Time to let go. Time to let go, but simultaneously you don't really know. There's something that you're holding on to or you're not really sure if you want to hold on to it. This is the second time this energy has come out kind of wonky. This is your crowning energy. Right, right, bam, on its side. Time to let go. You don't know that you want to let go. You're not sure if you want to let go, but you're also not sure that you want it, which makes you sure that you really don't want it, but simultaneously you don't know how to get rid of it. It's bugging you. It's bothering you. It's disturbing you. It's perturbing you. It's irritating you, but you don't know how to get rid of it. And it could be energy. It could be, um, you know, it could be feelings. It could be something that's irritating you and annoying you, but you don't, it's like, it's like you're losing patience. You just want it over with. You just want it over with. You're losing patience. You're about to explode. You're tired of being irritated by this. It's, it's ongoing. Maybe it's been a long time coming. Maybe it's been building. Whatever it is has been gnawing at your heart for a while. So you definitely know that you want to let it go. You just don't know exactly how to let it go. And so Sagittarius, we begin your reading. First card out in the major reading is bring your ideas to life. That could be what's gnawing at you or getting to you is that you don't know how to get it out of you. You don't know how to bring it to life. It's like irritating you and nagging you in your brain, but simultaneously you don't really know what the first step is. And you're like, you don't know who to ask. You don't know if there's somebody to ask. It's almost like you can't get the information that you need to take the next step. This is the energy of six. So it could be having to do with love and romance. Um, uh, um, Something about it that's bothering you, something about it that's bugging you, somebody that's bugging you, or essentially, it doesn't matter. Either way, you what's really bothering you is you don't know how to act on it. Um, it's almost like you feel like you're a thunderbolt that's been pent up. And that's not allowed to explode and radiate out the way that it wants to. Love is all around four plus one, you could have a lot of people in your life, you're not being able to decide or you don't know who you want to be with, or there's like too many options right now swarming around you. Could very well be in love, could just be options swarming around you, too confusing to make a decision, a sense of too many options, too many resources. This is four plus one, an energy of change and shift in the way that you communicate. That would be the answer, maybe an answer to your solution is changing the way that you communicate or getting a lot of communication coming into you. This is Gemini energy, so it's usually one-on-one -on -one communication. It could very well be that you're hearing from people that you don't really want to hear from. They're not, it's not bad things, but simultaneously, it's not the one that you really wanna hear from. Be peace, this is Libra energy, two plus one equals three, the divine, the Holy Trinity. Um, getting into balance, body, heart, body mind and spirit um, a sense of no but this is more love this is more love this is a sense of love 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 in your life and all around you and swarming around you and trying to get it creating it creating love maybe creating actual love you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying <laughs> um there's just a lot of love here especially between Gemini and Libra those are a really good pair too um oh I just heard a ringing in my ear 
uh, electric, electricity, something is alive, something is brought to life. Maybe you're just falling in love or you're, you're, you and your soulmate are trying to create something or get something off, but it gets something like, like get something, launch something, but it's, it's not getting off the ground, which is really bothering you. Watch and wait. Once again, another card of stuck in limbo, a sense of destiny this is the message because this is the central energy if you're being held back or you're feeling like you can't move as fast as you want to Sagittarius it's intentional it's intentional it's not the time watch and wait and be patient this is Piscean energy what just entered Pisces Mercury just entered Pisces so you have this energy right here this Gemini energy Mercury just entered Pisces what does that mean it means there's a psychic different way of communicating it's a slower more intuitive way of communicating it may not be so direct you may have to sit back and feel it out and trust your intuition which could really really irritate you yeah it could really it could just really bug you um um, yeah, it's almost like you can't launch. You're, you're, you're like in a holding pattern and it's, it's, it may be because of something from the past. It may, it, usually this card is like scorpionic energy <clears throat> being stuck in the underworld, but ready to come to light. Almost like springtime. Think of Persephone, like those couple of weeks. And this is where we are right now. Those couple of weeks before it becomes spring and she's finally liberated, she is forced to stay in the underworld in that dark, dank place. And I think she stays there, according to the Greek myth, she stays there for six months out of the year. But it's those last couple of weeks that are the most difficult because she can feel her freedom, but she can't have it yet. Think of that story. Because um, that's what I feel like you are right now, Persephone. See the big picture. See in the future. Be enlightened. This is the energy of 9 plus 2 or, yeah, 2 plus 9, which is 11. Being awakened. So seeing the larger picture. What is all of this about? Why are you being in a hold? Why are you in a holding pattern? Why are you being asked to wait? What could it be? Take a glimpse. Take a, take a, take a gander. Look, there's, there's a bigger picture. There's something bigger happening. There's something that's more important than what you want right now. It, it, in your life, there's something more important. There's something that you may be overlooking because you're so tense and feeling so blocked in, but this is the energy of Taurus energy. So it's gen, uh, gentle energy, but it's consistent energy. It's a long-term energy. It's almost like Look to the long term. Be patient and stick to the long term. Don't, I know you want to rush it because probably because you're feeling so cluster, you know what it right now. Um, but keep on that. You're running a marathon here. You're not, you're not running a sprint. You're running a marathon. So keep on that pace. Even if it's boring for you, just keep that up. Let it shine. 10. This is the energy of being in the spotlight or being spotlighted or wanting to put a spotlight on something, resurrecting, trans transforming into something new and beautiful. Um, growth is difficult. Growth is hard. And this cocoon phase can be very, very irritating. I think the, co the cocoon is about to like literally suffocate you. That's what you're kind of feeling right now. So Sagittarius, you have it in your sights, make the plan for the future, set it, set your sights in and just keep going. It's almost like a fog light through the dark, but it's also a sense of being heard, being heard, finally being able to be heard. That's what I keep hearing. Um, ah, time for a deep dive. This is also Libra energy. Um, this, this sense of love. This is romance, La Vie en Rose, uh, spotting romance, spotting, um, 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 uh, maybe a new opportunity in romance or spotting something like making a decision that you want making like almost like, I don't know, picking out your wedding cake or planning your wedding. It's like a, it's like a long-term plan for something that you can't wait to get to, but that requires your planning. That's very romantic. Maybe you're planning a honeymoon too. I don't know. Could be, um, transformation, awakening. So, um, yeah, something's trans that tr something's changing in your life. Um, you're, in other words, the butterfly stage is not that far away. It's not as far away as you think. Springtime is coming closer than you think. You just have to get, you just have to be patient for right now, but your butterfly is about to burst forth. This is energy and abundance and love and messages being sent from your ancestors. This is finding your family, maybe traveling to see your family. This is a sense of, because you know, the butterflies all fly south. They all travel south. Um, I think to Mexico to, to like get together with 
butterflies because you can't hang out with caterpillars once you become a butterfly. So this is all you you going to a gathering place. Um, make your dreams real. This is also awakening energy, realizing that you're the one manifesting it. You're manifesting the chaos as well as, as your irritation and you're manifesting, you're almost like designing a new life. This is an energy of grandmother energy or mother energy, um, sort of like those tangled webs that we can weave, but it's like weaving a new spell, weaving a new future, taking control of your future, but it could also be a trap being set for your butterfly. So watch out. Just, just letting you know, this could be like ambush predator trying to like sort of like trap your butterfly and trap your new opportunity and get it all sticky and feed on it. Uh, sing your own song. I know why the caged bird sings. This is a free bird. This is a bird that has got out of its cage. You will, you will be able to sing that song again. You will be free soon. This is the energy of three. Once again, Holy Spirit's got your back, but it's also divine timing. Um, Sing in the cage for now if you have to, but freedom is coming to you. Freedom, this is this is a sense of being trapped, a sense of just somebody like holding you up or holding on to you or trapping you in an obligation or something like that. Your freedom is coming. Believe me, Sagittarius. Watch your words. Woo, this is an important one for you. Why? Because boy, do you just say what's on your mind. You just let it whoop, fall right out. And this is coming out as a warning card. It could mess up your freedom. It could mess up how quickly, like I know you wanna pop off at somebody. I know you need to say what's on your mind. Don't do it, swallow your word. Like you need your freedom more. And your words could really get in the way of your progress this week. Grounding your energy, Sagittarius, is in reverse, trust in the great mystery. You're like, nope, done with that. I'm just going to be having fun and being playful and stay as light as possible because that's the secret to my success this week is jumping out of the water. It's like, get this water out of me. I'm so sick of all the emotions and I'm so sick of the, like being slowed down. You're going to play. You're going to make the best out of it just by playing in the waves. That's what you're going to do. You're not going to be suffocated anymore. This is, you are never alone. So you're playing with somebody. Have fun. Like, go ahead. Go at it. Have fun. Enjoy yourself and play. Maybe maybe playing in the water, playing in the waves, just being playful, um, uh, allowing yourself to uh, be together, togetherness, um, be in union with somebody, um, being shallow together almost. Um and then more energy of being playful and more six energy, two six energies, be playful and you are never alone. You're playing and skipping through the waves. This is how you're dealing with the situation. You're using companionship to help you, to help relieve tension, to help relieve stress and to help you stay light and keep yourself up. There's a huge... Um, sense of the people that you're spending time with. It could also be getting healthy, getting out there and doing more physical interaction, uh, maybe more exercise, but just being more physically active for heart health reasons, getting healthy again, being above the curve now in order to like being above water now, not sinking below it, being able to sort of play and have fun, um, doing this for your own health. This is a sense of being liberated and breaking free from all of those condemnations and traps that have been set for you, finally being able to fly or go. There's a lot of movement and travel here. I don't know if anybody's going somewhere. Um, um, go to places that maybe you'd lost your direction on, but there is a sense of not being able to wait, bring your ideas to life, a sense of, um, of moving forward and wanting to move forward, but also having to slow down and wait for the right time to move forward because there's something more at play here, Sagittarius, than you kind of realize right now. And I do think it, it is sort of like long-term planning for something that could be very beautiful. Hold on. If you want to go to the extended right now, please do. I'll see you over there. Or hold on because I'm going to flip the camera around. So here you are. Big old reading, Sagittarius, because a lot's going on. A lot of conflict and push and pull emotionally inside of you this week. This is Piscean energy. Um, interesting energy for you. 
Um, it, you could be waiting on somebody. You could be waiting on them to arrive or show up, like having waited on them for a long time, looking at them from a distance, always kind of spying on them or searching for them or wanting them or wanting them to be in your presence. But sooner or later, it, whatever you're waiting for, whatever you, you, you can't wait to get off the ground, it's coming to you. And there is a sense of being surrounded by love and like love flying to you. So you could be waiting for a loved one to come in there. Like I said, there's travel. So you, they may be coming from abroad, coming to meet each other, the two of you coming to meet each other, going someplace where you are free and liberated from all the binds and chains and the clutter, the clatter, the constant nagging that is surrounding you now, a sense of healing yourself by being, by liberating yourself and lightening your load. So uh, let's expand on this reading. I want to see where you guys are going. And then we're also going to uh, do your um, romance reading as well, Sagittarius. So that link is below and I'll see you over there.